my channel. Today's Monday, which means it's a Cricut tutorial. Today I am sharing with you guys how to use your Easy Press. Now the Easy Press is a new tool that Cricut came out with a, about a year ago now, um, and it's not always needed, but it is an essential if you do t-shirts a lot. But I always recommend maybe getting a heat press if you're trying to do a bigger business. So you guys can check out my blog for the article, should you get a heat press or an easy press, or do you even need one at all? Check my blog out for that, or the link is in the description. If you need Cricut supplies, check out my blog as well because I've got all of the lists and things for you to find the most inexpensive ways to fund your new hobby of doing Cricut or your old hobby if you've been with us for a while. So today we're gonna talk about how to use your Easy Press if you want one or if you have one. If you don't have one and you want one, check it out on Amazon because they are really fun to own. All right, let's get going. All right guys, so your Easy Press is super easy to use. All you've gotta do is turn it on with the power button. And then I keep the guide that Cricut sends you with, right next to it at all times. So to turn our temperature up, we're just gonna click the left top button and then the right top button to get our temperature to the time that we want it. And then to set our time, we're gonna click the bottom left button and then use the arrow keys to set our time to what we want. And then we're going to wait for that little C to turn green. While I'm waiting, I like to make sure that I have all my supplies, which are things like my mat. The, there are also other ones you can get on Amazon as well, different styles. This is the Cricut one, and then a piece of fabric or a protective sheet that you can also get. Once it's ready, that little C is going to turn green, and we're going to want to heat up whatever mat we are using or surface that we are using. That's kind of why it's important to have some sort of mat that is heat resistant. So now we're going to just use a onesie as an example. So I like that mat to be nice and warm. And then I'm going to warm up the onesie or the piece of fabric that I'm ironing anything onto with my Easy Press by just giving it a little uh, rub down with my Easy Press to get that fabric nice and warm. Once it's pretty warm, I'm going to put my design right where I want it onto the piece and then make sure it's positioned correctly. And then I'm gonna use a protective sheet. You can get protective sheets either on Cricut or on Amazon. I've got lots of different ones on there um, in my Amazon shop, or you can just use a piece of fabric like I'm doing here. You put some pressure on this and click the little C and let it do its countdown, and then you are good to go. Make sure that you do not move it around too much, just kind of put a lot of pressure with your hands, and then you should be fine if you follow the guide. So I'm gonna let my design cool completely before I take the plastic off. Sometimes I like to give it a little wafty to make sure that there's air coming from both sides. That kind of speeds up the cooling process. And then I just make sure that it did its job before I pull it off completely by just giving it a little gentle pull on the corner and then I pull it off completely. Um, if the design is bigger than the Easy Press, just make sure you go over each piece separately at a time. Okay. 